The Alabama Department of Transportation actually owns both ferries that run between Fort Morgan and Dolphin Island. Hornblower is contracted to run the day-to-day -day operations. The city of Mobile kicked off a derelict vessel recovery program today. Crews started removing a boat that has been an eyesore at Dog River Park. The city will be removing 11 boats and 15 piers and boathouses. NBC 15's Aubrey Spears joins us now. Aubrey, this program is possible because of grant money. Yes, NOAA is providing more than $460,000 to help remove the boats and other debris from local waterways. This morning, the city of Mobile, along with the Mobile Police Department, began removing a small boat located at Dog River Park. The boat has been the subject of several complaints from citizens. Casey Calloway is the chief resilience officer for the city of Mobile. She says the owner is nowhere to be found. We've had to move it for different events um, to get it out of the way, but really we don't have funding to be able to do that. Can't find the owner. It's been abandoned for a really long time since Hurricane Sally or Zeta. So it's hard to do it without the funding, and this grant provides that tool, that necessary resource. The city of Mobile is using the grant for vessel education, too. What they plan to do with the money coming up at 6. Andrea.